I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Scorpio, for the week of February the 27th. This is a fantastic time uh, right now. There's a lot of excitement in the air. There's a lot of productivity, um, certainly in your chart, because right in that area of productivity, we've got Venus, Mars, and Uranus. Now, Venus is going to go retrograde at the end of this week over the following weekend on the 4th of March. So, and and it's going to stay in this area for an extended period. It will sort of go back into your solar fifth house, your area of connections briefly and come back to this area. Um, so while it is retrograde, you've got sort of over this next month to really uh, think of, do some planning. So um, some really solid planning uh, and you know you could be changing the way that you do things and your um, productivity in some way so you become more efficient. Now also in this area we've got um, the Mars and Uranus as I mentioned they're going to be conjunct. Now this is a fabulous conjunction it really just pushes things forward. It can push you out of your comfort zone. Not that you're scared of that Scorpio. You're one of the signs which who you know readily moves out of your comfort zone to be able to you know get that self-growth and to move forward. So Mars is like the trigger that pushes things and Uranus is, uh, can, can bring things like out of the blue. So it's a real sort of destiny feeling about what's happening at the moment because we've got this solar eclipse happening um, and that connects you with, with people uh, that of a romantic nature as well or it just sort of puts you in the path at the right precisely the right time to meet the right uh, uh, people um, but before we get into that area of your chart with the uh, on this area of productivity is also about your health and well-being and looking after yourself so for you to feel powerful at the moment you want to be organized and you want to make sure that you do what's right for you and with Mars and um, Uranus connecting with the power force behind those two which is right opposite uh, Jupiter which is in the sign before you helps you really get in touch with some realizations about yourself and when that happens and yes I said you're game enough and up for it to, to do that Scorpio and when that happens that's when real self-growth happens uh, and when that self-growth happens that's when you can really sort of change your uh, present situation change the dynamics that you have between you and other people and move forward into the next phase of your life this area of your chart where Jupiter is right through and towards the end of the um, uh, October around October it's going to move into your sign while it's there in the sign before you it also opens you up to your spiritual self and opens you up to questioning your faith your beliefs and, and do more study on that area. So you can get some real insights during this time. So very powerful of what's going on at the moment. Also to do with work, when we've got Mars right at the end of the week, there's Mars and Saturn are in very favorable um, connection. That's going to bring up some things around money that are going to help you set um, monetary uh, systems, budgets, which are going to be favorable for the future as well. Okay. Now, um, all right, let's go back to the solar fifth house where the, where the solar eclipse is. Great position for creativity, great position for connecting with people, taking charge, taking control of your life, self actualizing. Um, what you want in your life and how to move forward. So the sun and the moon are in this position for it to be the solar eclipse, which is a new moon. And we've also got communication planet Mercury and the sun and Mercury are going to connect with uh, um, 
Neptune. So it's such an action-packed week, so much going on. And what that means for you is that you can really feel inspired this week. So you want to sort of rise above any pettiness that's around you and not let people hook you in to the pettiness and stay on the big picture of your life, your grand plan, okay? And if you can keep on that higher vibrational level, that's when you can really make a huge difference in your life all right now if you want to know how all that is going to affect your personal chart go along to my website there it is there jenniferangel.com to the readings page have a look at the different readings um, if you're on a budget I do have a section there scroll down a bit uh, it's called vision readings and um, if you let me know what your budget is, if I don't have something there that suits your budget, then we'll work something out. It's an honor system. So, of course, if you cashed up, please just book on the list price, okay? All right, love and luck to you. I hope you have a fabulous week, and I'll see you next week.